Hello. This is Valkyrie here, and this is a quick how-to video on making morphs. It's super easy once you know what you need to do. The first thing I usually do with my morphs is to choose a color palette. Here, I've chosen this dark red to ginger palette. Now, I turn the main color to dark red, the darkest of the palette. This allows me to make bright, vibrant, markings, which can pop and add flair. I find markings that are lighter than the main body color are far prettier than ones darker, but that's just my opinion and it's all up to you. Once I've chosen the main color of my morph, I begin to start fading. Fades are a very big step when it comes to making morphs they turn bland to exotic. I usually apply fades to the tail and legs. I further my fades by readjusting my main body color and using a cape to be the darkest color instead. I must mention quickly make sure to save your morph during your progress, this is so you don't lose all that hard work. Even if you don't like the morph, save it. You might want it in the future, trust me. Next, I need to apply markings. Not all morphs need markings, but I believe markings add a special touch to the character of your morph. For this, I decided to use braided stripes. I recolor my markings to suit the base colors and fades, and then I use a special technique of mine that I like to call zebra fades. The technique is that I make the stripes the exact same color as the fades below, and then the fade below is the same color as the fade above. This makes telling the difference between markings and base color hard. Adjust how bright you want your markings to be, or which markings you'd like to fade, and then take a look at your overall morph. I decided to add a bit more to my morph by adding a brindle, which made my character a more complex look. Now, I must do the very last thing the head. I always do the head last so it matches the body better, instead of basing my body off what I've done to the head. I prefer to use the face mask when it comes to fading. I added stripes to match the body and blended the nose bridge. I also added a brindle, and I used vibrant eye markings to make the eyes pop. Since the colors of my morph are done, I add fur and accessories. I decided to make the accessories match my character. All done, this is what she looks like. See, it wasn't that hard, was it?